their bearings back. Trees and wires are down. Rooftops and cars are severely damaged. There was a tornado warning issued for the area, and some say that it swept through the area. The National Weather Service says it'll send an investigator to the scene to determine if a tornado was indeed responsible for the damage. Residents, meanwhile, say it was very scary. I saw a mass of just leaves t turning, Spinning. and it was just dark, like a dark mass, and I was, I was afraid. And I saw the tree come down. I ran back inside. And you can hear the wind. It sounded like a freight train coming through at full speed. It was like... The thunder was not normal. It was like a different thunder. You never hear like a real loud thunder. Like boom, real loud. Yeah, very loud and explosions. lightning. Very loud yeah, Very loud. Lightning was crazy. I came outside and I seen my car with wind, broken windows and dents and trees all over the place. It was a mess. It started getting really dark. The tree in my front of my house started swerving around and around and I thought the windows in my apartment was going to break. And, and it was about 30 seconds and then it was over. As of now, there are no reports of any serious injuries. These beaches could be closed due to runoff from the storm. He says sewage treatment plants were overloaded and some of the runoff may have mixed with sewage. The Department of Health is taking measurements to see if bacteria levels are too high. The mayor says hundreds of firefighters and police are involved in responding to the storm. He says police are guarding buildings that were badly damaged in Brooklyn and they're helping out with debris removal and crowd control on the subways. The Parks Department has hundreds of workers out cleaning up trees and limbs. Parks Commissioner Adrian Benepe says they have gotten hundreds of calls about downed trees. He also says homeowners should not try to clean up wood themselves. And with temperatures expected to crack 90 and the heat index at 100, city cooling centers are open. Call 311 to find the one nearest to you.